What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks to the folks from Biski, today we're gonna review their new OLED flow meter. It has a name impossible to remember for me, so I will write uh, here for you guys. You can find it anyway around 38 bucks on AliExpress or also on Amazon. But without further ado, let's start with the video. We see we have this hard plastic case, very compact, and we can immediately read that this product is available in three different colors, black, silver and transparent. As you can see the product comes in a small box, I got the black version which is ideal for most PC cases. We can also see this flow meter just requires a standard Molex connection for the power. In the box you also get an installation guide and a small quality certification. In the guide you find information on how to properly install it based on your flow direction. So the flat end of the rotor is the outlet and the other end is obviously the inlet. The water cooling flow in my system is from right to left so I was already fine with the default position. Regarding the product dimensions I measured the 65 millimeters. we see it's 35 millimeters deep with 32 millimeters of eight. As for the other specs of the product we see it's made of pump material which is acetal for maximum compatibility. We have the G1 fourth thread standard, we also said interchangeable inlet and outlet and the compatibility is assured with non-aluminum loops. We obviously have the OLED display with real-time reading of inline flow rate with integrated thermometer. The installation was quite easy, so I said this on the left is my outlet. So after draining my loop I just had to cut the tube putting the flow meter in between. I didn't know how to fix it to the base of my case, so I used a strong double sided tape as you can see. Then after connecting the flow meter to the Molex, I could finally fill the loop. I'm using the Misty Fog gear, if you're interested in that, you can look at my review in the upper right corner. And we can now immediately see the flow meter giving us real-time information on the coolant temperature and coolant flow, such as liters per minute and rotations per second. We can see that the temperature measured by the flow meter matches exactly the one measured by my Bisky CPU water block. By the way, if you are interested in this CPU water block, you can have a look at my recent review in the upper right corner. My pump has a manual speed regulation function for a maximum flow rate up to 960 liters per hour. I will now try to do a noise test for you guys from the lowest flow rate to the maximum one. As you can see I'm using a directional microphone pointing directly to the flow meter. There are obviously other sources of noise which are affecting with this measurement since the flow meter is inside my PC case so we also have the pump, the hard drives and the fans affecting my measurements. But this test should give us anyway an understanding on the noise level of the Bixky flow meter. We start at the minimum speed which is 2.5 liters per minute and we are between 35 and 38 decibels. And we see that when we reach about 5 liters per minute we easily break the 40 decibels value. And we reach peaks of about 52 decibels when the flow meter is set at the maximum speed which in my system with this pump is a bit less than 7 liters per minute. So in the end I would say it's a good product for the price, it looks cool in your loop but maybe it's just too noisy if you have your PC standing on your desk like my example here, so I prefer to keep the pump speed between 3 and 4 liters per minute and the noise then is barely noticeable. And that's all for today folks, so let me know down in comments below if you tried this product or if you have other alternatives in mind that you would like for example me to review. Also smash the like and subscribe button if you like the video, it would be greatly appreciated as usual. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.